there's no way. We're gonna go, hey, we can use some more cameras actually. We're gonna go down. It, they seem to be very susceptible to the cameras. This thing's dead, guys. Um, well, we're just hold it. it up. I was still holding it, yeah. Sure. We were going through. How do you think it went? We're, uh, we're gonna go. The going going through this check okay. point. They forced me to leave. He told, to, he told him not to. He told him not to come yeah. back. <laughs> but we're gonna go back anyway, so we cool. can really use you. Otherwise, still here. we're all getting arrested. Okay, if it's the small group, we'll get arrested. But if it's all of us, we'll probably be fine. So I think we should yeah. all go. Fuck the cops. Is there a state law that says you have to give your ID? I don't know. I want to know that. that. Yeah. yeah. I always ask them like, okay, what's the R Passengers? And they never know. Like, I don't know. No passengers. No, that happened last time. I got pulled over. Uh, they would yeah. try with us. I refuse to give that to yeah. them. They know who we are. Yeah. I posted that. Come to the coppers. I still have to look that up because I'm curious about that. Yeah. All right, let's go. Because if they're BSing, they could be BSing us. It's a good, it's a good throw. You guys aren't coming? No, we're just, we're just there filming them. And stuff. No, no, no. Yeah. We're going to bug them on foot. We're going to film them some more. Yeah, but we're going to go actually talk to them on foot. They told us not yeah, to come yeah, back, so we're going to go back. Uh, yeah. Just don't tell us what to do. Have as long as you stay on the sidewalk, we'll be okay. I know. okay. This is my first time. I know. Hey, the with all of us. Go Let's go. Get your top block if you are, if you're tired, you're if you're tired. Yeah. Yeah. it's okay. If you're tired, I understand. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. We'll go up and down. Let the big boys play and go top block. It's okay. Andrew. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. Bye. Don't pull him. I thought I was wrong. Took my best See you guys. Bye, bye. Wimps! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I actually wish it wasn't there. I wish that building wasn't there because it blocked the full view of like the James, you coming back tonight? Yeah, I'll take them. I got money for the rich phone when I get back. Okay, I appreciate it. They told you not to roll through in the car again. Well, I don't remember what they told me. They, they forced me to leave. <laughs> I was trying to stay there Thank and talk you. to them. I don't know. I don't know if I'm wire. good. I've been down there since. If, am I? This yeah. is my first time. I'm super excited. This is fun. I have no idea. Right, I'm, sure. I'm parked in their little spot. There's so many flashing right. lights, it's so easy to get confused down there. In my opinion, they they blocked off the road. They've created a parking spot. Right. I was gonna be like, come with us. Hey. Uh, you know, we just talked to him on the way through Riaz and and uh, yeah, Riaz and somebody's down. Uh, Rob. Still Messing down with there. the monthly? Well, just yeah, recording. It, it, it seems okay. it seems ridiculous how 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 much section in the bridge they they block off. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty shocked how far us. those you, you mean, they, codes go. They got yeah. upset at us because we were taking shifts and they don't have the option to take shifts. <laughs> yeah. We're not we're not getting paid sixty dollars an hour to be out there though. Yeah. We do this for liberty. Yeah, no, we do this time. for freedom. Alright, you guys. That's enough. You got the radio, right? I got it. Yeah, I'm out of this. What yeah. you said. Alright guys, it's up tonight. Good job. Um, <laughs> I'm upset right now. <laughs> you're, you're no, I'm trying to lose weight. As soon as I'm done losing weight, lose the chocolate. I'm trying to I'm trying to kick his ass. Guess we're ready to go. Let's rock it. I think Yeah. You're coming? No. As you first as people first come in, there's two. There's one guy standing there with a clipboard. There's another guy. There's the guy waving him in. There's the guy standing there with the clipboard. In between them, on the right hand side, you can tell the guy with the captain's hat. Uh -huh. the captain, really nice guy. 
Yeah, he very, did seem very, very, yeah. very nice. Yeah. Very, psh, no, no bullshit. So, he, he's the guy that came up uh, to um, Bill and apologized after the, uh, after the, after he got the ticket for the green beam and it got dismissed and everything. So, oh, he apologized and, yeah, about that? And he, yeah, he talks to me. He knows me by name. So okay, so. well, not just, for that. Just, just letting you know up front that he's... <laughs> Oh, man. He's the guy to talk to. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. I feel kind of bad about trolling. Did you see the skateboard yeah. cop online? I saw a cop block posted a skateboard cop. This guy rolls around on a skateboard and is like really cool. Bench actually has bicycle cops. No, no, no. This guy like hangs out with the people. I don't know. Uh, I, I wonder um, when I first got pulled over. I had no plates. I was driving when I just bought the car. I've never been pulled over here. And uh, they threw out the summons because I, I had to go under duress and get registered. But the officer was true to her word here and uh, actually threw out the uh, summons. Oh. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. And, and they let me drive away with no plates, which I thought was kind of interesting as well. Because no. Jazz got pulled you know. over and he wasn't able to drive away. He had plates on. You know what's interesting? So, ignorance of the law is no excuse, right? Well, why don't you know the RSA numbers? Hey guys, we're gonna go. Oh, okay. I just want to let you know there's a police checkpoint ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys. We appreciate it. Um, I don't know what we would You didn't done listen when you drove through? Oh, I did. When you guys came up, who was, who was in the car that came across we the bridge? You can't read. Don't you know the oh. literacy rate in this country is extremely low? I know, low? but that's not an excuse. When people are yelling at you, hey, there's a police checkpoint, and you that's go, yeah, When people you, yell at me, going. I get nervous, well, and I just want to drive you just really fast. Really <laughs> <laughs> you have nothing to hide. <laughs> yeah. I have everything I have, to hide. I have, to I have to hide who I am. <laughs> no Oblo English. Yeah, I, I don't have enough, uh, I'm not Hispanic enough looking to be able to pull up the no hot blade blaze thing. Unfortunately. I got a, I got a fork at Hispanic. Actually, this is Dapper Dan with Objectivist Girl and uh, Voluntarist Rebel and Dogford approaching That's on foot right the checkpoint, taking video. I got a visual on some activists who are on the sidewalk at the moment. Oh, I just heard Antigone and Lawrence Smith are in the checkpoint as victims. I'm seeing their car right now. activists taking video of this. Uh, one problem I see with this method is that they're all in the same place. They're getting a lot of redundant video. They should be across the street and in different locations, getting different angles. If someone were to splice a video together, they would be having a real problem. Now, one interesting issue is that Lauren is now outside of her car which is an unusual thing for most checkpoints. You typically don't have to get out unless you're being really thoroughly checked. I hope she didn't decide to go through without a driver's license. 
and isn't looking for some required paperwork like that. don't know why uh, there's a problem. She, Lauren took off her glasses, so presumably the uh, picture on her photo ID uh, was questioned. She's having a conversation with the police captain. Clear Antigone is video recording from inside the vehicle. It's not clear what the quality of that video is, seeing as she has no visual on Lauren. officer who's standing in front of me is uh, obstructing my view, but it looks like Lauren is free to go. And has safely navigated around the police checkpoint. <laughs> Activists <laughs> move from their locations your video has been captured. Now James had expressed a desire to speak with that captain in person on foot. I'm gonna make sure that I keep a visual on James just in case he approaches any of those officers. I mean it might end at two, it might end at three. I don't know what time it ended last time. Yeah, right now it's unclear with whom he's having a conversation, but it appears he's having a conversation with someone. <clears throat> what are you doing? Oh, I was checking out their setup. Maybe oh. See if I can take anything away. <laughs> oh, you any mean uh, take, taking away any ideas? Because yeah. you have a police cruiser as well. That's right. I think this is a supervisor. Yeah. Anything you find interesting about this setup? No, I mean it has an armrest, it has like a center council, so it's good. This is obviously like a uh, supervisor one because it has no, um, you can't really arrest someone in there, you know what I mean? There's no separator. And it's also not black and white, it's just black. I do find it interesting that they don't have the light bars on top of the vehicles. Like none of these, they're all subdued in the cars, see what I mean? What do you think is the point of that? I don't know, maybe more aerodynamic. Think, you think I should let these guys know some of my thoughts? If you do, I'll be filming it. So what, what if this isn't about safety? What if this is about control? So when I was involved with the Army, there's these things called traffic control points. Just Google traffic control points, US Army. It's very similar to this. To me, in my opinion, this is what an occupying force does. I mean, it's like you guys are inconveniencing everyone on the chance that someone might be unsafe. You know what I mean? There has to be better alternatives. I mean, how many officers are out here right now? Couldn't you guys provide a service where I could call and if I'm drunk, you guys give me a ride home? Like, isn't there a better way to do this? Is there any possible way that we can 
address the problem of impaired driving without inconveniencing every motorist that happens to go past this point, or potentially every motorist. Obviously, some motorists go by. I don't think this is about safety. I think it's about teaching people to be obedient, and it's about control. You guys are acting like an occupying force. I don't feel that you're providing safety right now. I'm, I'm open. I'm all ears if you have anything you want to say. I don't, who, who's in charge here tonight? Are you in charge, sir? Yeah. Okay. Well, I met you earlier. I'm James. Yeah. And I, I can't remember your name. I'm sorry. Captain Hopkins. Hodgkins? Hopkins. Hopkins. I'm sorry. You're entitled to your opinion, sir. Well, how, how many of these have you done that you felt like you have improved public safety substantially? There's, look how many resources there are out here, to, out here tonight. Shouldn't you guys be focused on property crime and, and violent crimes? Are you telling me that there's no fights in bars tonight? There's no one trying to break into a house? There's nothing like that? I mean, you guys are all out here. There's four cruisers. There's six officers I see here. I mean, I feel like you guys could be doing other things. I don't want to be charged with interfering. <laughs> so that's why you stopped having a conversation? Well, I guess it's kind of, he's not really going to be paying attention to me. And I don't know who's in the car, so well, it might, it might kind of be up disturbing if someone's on the side of the road speaking loudly to the police. So, so this man seems relatively friendly. Uh, do you feel like your message has been received? I mean, I don't know. I just, my goal I think we really have to think about, we're, we're becoming a police state, you know, we're, I say we are, the, the government is becoming a police state. So I, I think it's a real issue and, and something, people really need to really consider what's going on here. And it's just amazing that people accept it, you know. It, it seems like every year it just gets worse and worse, the police continue to do these things. I mean, obviously, I think impaired driving is an issue, but there has to be other ways to solve it. I think you could educate people instead of potentially enforcing against people. And don't get me wrong, I don't want anyone to get hurt because someone else is impaired driving. That's not a good thing. So, you know, I just don't agree that this is a solution. You know, sometimes freedom can be messy. Uh, you know, if people have the right to defend themselves with firearms, someone might use it in a bad way. If people have the right to consume alcoholic beverages, someone may be irresponsible and drive their car after they consume too much. But, you know, the, the solution is not to crack down on everyone to try to handle a few people. It'd be like if, if every mass shooting, okay, we have to seize all the firearms. Of course, there are people who would probably prefer that, so. Oh, well. That's interesting. They let the tow vehicle go. <laughs> How does it make you feel to see these other cars pull over? Uh, well, I don't, I don't think they're pulling over because they want to. They're basically, they're being forced to pull over. And the reality is if they don't pull over, they will be harmed. So I feel that even if, the, even if these only stop for a minute, it's still inconveniencing these people. It's bringing wear and tear on their vehicles. Take a step towards me, if you will. Well, why? Because there's a shadow on your face. Oh, okay. Well, Christ, you told me that earlier. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I blocked it. Oh, okay. Well, that was a pretty quick stop, so, you know, I'll give them that, but still. I just don't think it's a good thing to inconvenience everyone. And like I said, I, I see so many similarities between what they do in foreign countries, and they being the United States government, and what they're doing here tonight. It's almost, it's, it's, it's very comparable, I would argue. Yeah, it does have the appearance of an occupying army. And I don't think it's gonna create goodwill among the people. I think the folks who are getting stopped, 
maybe they'll come to the same conclusion. Actually, I would say it's not creating goodwill as evidenced by the public reaction tonight. I mean, it's been overwhelmingly positive. Uh, people don't like these checkpoints. And I think that they know that it inconveniences everyone to try to crack down on a problem that may or may not be a huge issue. Uh, they know it's not about public safety. It, it's really about, it inconveniences them and it's about control at the end of the day.